What is up, Taurus? Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general tarot reading for the month of July of 2021. Thank you all so very much for being here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. My name is Eric. And if you are returning, what is up, squad? So this is going to be your general energy reading, your general tarot reading for the month of July of 2021. Yes, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, <clears throat> also, I highly recommend that you guys check out your sun, moon, and rising signs, possibly even your Venus sign. Venus, if you're looking for love specifically, uh, because that's going to give you a much more well-rounded view of the energies for this time period, whether this be in July of 2021 or it be uh, later on, if you find this reading at a different time. Um, also, uh, I highly recommend that you guys get engaged, yeah? Let me know how this resonates with you. If you want to get something off your chest or if you just want to express something, if you want to uh, validate and, and, and express how this is resonating with you or if you just have any further questions or you just want to talk about something, the floor is open. This channel is called Divine Conversations for a reason, okay? We are a loving and supporting community here. This is a safe space. If you want to communicate with us, if you want to join the unicorn herd, if you want to join the collective, get yourself in there, yeah? Leave a comment. I love to have a conversation with you guys and discuss these things further. Also, leaving comments, uh, especially if you're new here, leaving a comment and, and will allow me to get uh, uh, to connect with you. Even if it's like you have a picture there uh, or you don't even have a picture for your profile or your, your account here on YouTube, um, just just expressing yourself, speaking from your heart, speaking from a sense of yourself and leaving that in the comments and me reading it helps me to connect with your energy. So especially if you're new here, especially if it's resonating, but if, if you're new here um, and you really want to continue to work with this collective, share your story, share yourself, and I will connect with that and I will be able to potentially get better messages or more uh, uh, specific messages for you personally, okay? Also, I am available for private readings if you'd like to get one. All the information is in the description box below, okay? There, I'm only taking a limited amount of readings, but if you are interested in one, check out the description box and then send me an email. Also, I highly recommend that you check us out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Lots of great stuff there. All right, Taurus, let's get into this. Uh, I have your pre-shuffle here, and it's so really interesting, Taurus, because between the readings that I've been doing, um, and then uh, even other readings that I've seen for the collective um, over here on YouTube, the energies between Aries and Taurus tend to be very similar, okay? And <laughs> quite frankly, Taurus, in your pre-shuffle here, I mean, obviously, you have a much smaller pre-shuffle energy than Aries did, but you have... The, the cards that you have here are some of the same cards that came out for the Aries reading. So that reading may resonate for you for the month of July. Go ahead and check that out if you feel inclined to do so. But your overall energy in your pre-shuffle is the Four of Wands. Underneath the Four of Wands is the Ten of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so uh, as it's been resonating like this for a while, it's continuing, continuing to resonate, resonate this way for you, Taurus. The Four of Wands is representing a deep sense of stability and foundation creatively, expressively, spiritually, on an energetic level. There is a very strong foundational balance within yourself that you have come to that is allowed or is allowing you or has allowed you to put some really tough circumstances or situations to rest. Not only end them, but to bring them into completion, which is what the 10 of the 10 of swords is representing. And then finally under that, you do have a new beginning starting for you, a new physical reality. This could be a brand new relationship. This could be a new, um, a new way of thinking or a new way of aligning with romantic or interpersonal relationships. This also could represent a new business venture, a new business opportunity, an opportunity to make more money, increase your finances, maybe start a new business or something like that. These are all things that can be re represented, that can be represented by the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Continuing this, you do have Temperance with the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups specifically already uh, Taurus is representing you moving forward or leading with an open heart. Um, there is a greater sense of balance that has come into play for you, temperance. Uh, the main thing that I'm feeling with this Taurus is that you have a greater balance within yourself, a greater harmony within yourself, and that's allowing you to flow with the universe in a much 
easier, more efficient way, okay? And from this sense of balance, which is represented by temperance here, there is great change that's coming into your life. I'm not thinking, I'm not feeling right now that you exactly know what it is, but the really good beneficial part of this, Taurus, is the fact that with an open heart here, you are able or you're allowing yourself is what I'm saying or is what I'm feeling to flow with the change of the universe in a much better, much more efficient way, okay? And and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, Taurus, especially if you're a Taurus sun, this feels like a really, um, yeah, Taurus sun. This feels like um, a, a really strong energy of being able to handle change. Taurus, just like any of the other fixed signs, although Taurus, I feel like maybe has the most trouble with this, Taurus doesn't like change, all right? Taurus is a fixed sign, so the uh, the propensity for Tauran energy or any other fixed energy, to be honest, that includes Aquarius, Scorpio, um, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo. Uh, any fixed sign is going to have trouble with change because their propensity is towards keeping up the, the trajectory or the momentum that has already been started. For you, Taurus, I just feel there's a much more uh, relaxed energy within you, especially when it comes to allowing the universe uh, with the Wheel of Fortune to create change or provide opportunities for you in the future. And what's really helping you with this right now, Taurus, is the fact that you're leading the way, you're coming, you're approaching this energy or this situation from your for yourself from the place of an open heart, okay? And that's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. All right, Taurus, we have nothing else coming out for you here. So I'm going to get into this. We're going to give this five shuffles and we'll see what we have for your reading this month. Yeah? One for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July of 2021. This is two. This is three. Four, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is five. All right, Taurus. Let's get into this. I'm going to cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Taurus. We're starting you off with the Eight of Swords. Okay. This is not a bad thing, though, Taurus, because what I'm hearing is this is uh, this is what you're breaking free from. This is a bit of a jailbreak type energy. Again, very similar to what Aries had this month, but okay. Underneath the Eight of Swords, beautiful, Taurus. Underneath the Eight of Swords is the Fool. And underneath the Fool is the Three of Swords with the Three of Wands. I swear, Taurus, either you are a Taurus, Aries Taurus cusper, or you have Aries in some other, either like your sun, your moon, your rising, maybe even your Venus. Also, for some of you, you might want to check where, which house Aries is in for your chart, uh, in terms of your natal chart, and what could be transiting Aries in terms of your natal chart for this month. Um, you may also want to look at where the ruler, the ruling planet of Aries is. That would be Mars. Look at where that is in your, uh, what are, um, what's tr where, what Mars is transiting in your chart in terms of your natal chart. You also may want to look at maybe your progressed chart if you have the chance or if you if you have the ability. But anyway, Taurus, um, you're definitely breaking free. And just like I was saying for Aries, you're breaking free and you're taking a leap of faith. You're moving on in a different direction and the pain from the past is what's helping fuel you to move you forward. What I said for Aries in terms of this was the three of swords or the pain, the heartbreak or the destruction from the past is kind of either you're using it this way or it has the potential to be a set, a sort of fertilizer for whatever is new is coming into your life, which was represented by the Ace of Pentacles in your pre-shuffle. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Three of Wands here. Underneath the Three of Wands, you have the Star and the Three of Pentacles, okay? So what I'm feeling here for you, Taurus, is either you have broken free or you're in the process of breaking free from some sort of mental imprisonment or some sort of confinement and with this Three of Wands energy, there is definitely a focus here for you in terms of where it is you're going and what it is you're influ or you are putting your energy into. Um, and it has a lot to do with the Three of Swords, the Eight of Swords here. There's a lot of questioning going on. There's a lot of wondering or seeking the truth. 
and, 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 and figuring out how whatever it is you've experienced from the past or whatever this energy is that's coming up for you here, how you can use that to propel you forward towards what it is you truly want, okay? Beautiful, Taurus. Let's get into the first half and second half of your reading here. So the first half of your reading is going to be looking at kind of past energies leading up until this moment in time. And then the second half of your reading is going to look at this moment in time and up until the, and off into the future, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading, you do have death, transformation. Um, I, I, what I'm getting very strongly here, Taurus, is that you have gone through a transformation and it's a transformation that happened internally. For many of you, you may not even have realized or recognized it while it was happening. But now that change, that transformation is starting to, has picked up a good amount of momentum and it's starting to express itself in your life externally right which makes perfect sense because everything starts on an energetic internal basis and then from there that energy pushes outward and ref and it starts to reflect itself in your physical reality okay death is coupled with the nine of cups so big thing in terms of this transformation that you've gone through it's all about feeling satisfied and happy and content in your life a and in, interestingly enough, Taurus, I feel like what is helping to influence you to go with the flow here of this change that the universe is helping to facilitate for you, the fact that you have been able to find a sense of personal satisfaction in your life, maybe for some of you seemingly out of nowhere because you didn't recognize or realize that this transformation was happening as you were going through it, but now all of a sudden you find yourself in this really nice space this really content space and that's what and see that's what's helping you bypass the kind of fixed aspect the fixed element that's kind of like no i don't like changing things well because you have this sense of contentment and satisfaction now you're kind of looking at the universe being like okay universe i see you i see what you did there if this is where we're going and i feel so good about this already then all right i'll i'll throw you a bone and i'll keep going in this direction and the universe is like wow thank you that is so generous of you <laughs> okay second set of surrounding energies for you taurus in the first half of your reading you've got the ace of cups beautiful self-awareness self-contentment self-love it's like uh, again, another supporting aspect that is helping you to move forward in this time of change is the fact that there's you are consciously aware of the un, of the divine and unconditional love that is pouring down for you, and that's helping you to love yourself even more, and is helping you to recognize what needs to be changed, but also recognize how what has already changed and what's going to continue to change actually is in your best good or for your highest good or your, your, uh, the best for you. Yeah. And that's helping you go through this change as well. Ace of cups is coupled with Ooh, the king of cups, Scorpio energy. Okay. Actually we have two energies of Scorpio here between death and the king of cups. Um, <clears throat> but this is exactly what I was just saying, Taurus. The king of cups is representing a sense of emotional maturity and emotional foundation, emotional awareness and emotional availability. Okay. The king of cups represents an energy of knowing exactly what needs to be done for the, to serve the highest good of the self and all others and, or all others, depending on your situation. Um, but then doing what you know is right, even though it may not be the easiest thing for you. I just feel like with the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups here, Taurus, this is just reflecting your sense of emotional stability. And that's, again, what's helping you go through this change, even though as a fixed sign, change isn't always the easiest thing for you to do. Now, the King of Cups also represents a level of emotional, of emotional foundation in terms of the fact that no matter what's going on in the ocean surrounding the King of Cups, no matter how choppy the waters are, no matter what kind of massive storm or hurricane is, is blowing through or about to blow through, the King of Cups is solid. Nothing is going to throw him off that throne. Nothing is going to throw him off his seat or of his sense of stability here. And again, that is another element to this situation, Taurus, that is helping you go through whatever changes are necessary or whatever changes you are being guided to take, whatever the universe is bringing forward towards you to bring great change into your life. I love it, Taurus. You've overcome a lot of hurt and pain from the past. And again, I feel like just like Aries, you are allowing this or you can benefit from allowing 
the pain and the heartbreak and the destruction and the terror that you've experienced in the past to be your fertilizer for the new that is going to be sprouting, that you're going to be blooming into your life in the very near future. Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Taurus, you have the Ten of Cups. So already in your first, uh, the, the, the first set of surrounding energies for you, you have the Nine of Cups here. So you are in the Nine of Cups energy currently, and you're striving towards that final ten. And I do feel like, Taurus, what's happening here is you have a greater understanding, or at least you have the opportunity to gain a greater understanding from this this place of stability and contentment to really have a view of what could be rep what could be the 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 representation of the ten of cups in your life for you you don't have to know exactly what it is i just feel like on an emotional level taurus you have a, a greater opportunity at this moment in time or at this moment in your lifelong journey to energetically align with what the Ten of Cups could end up being for you, regardless of what it actually materializes into. I just feel like on an emotional level, you have a certain awareness, a certain clarity in terms of what would be your ultimate emotional fulfillment. And just that sense of emotional clarity is going to help you move there and get into strong, deep, direct alignment with it for it then to materialize or manifest in your world okay that's your challenge right now the ten of cups it's not that much of a challenge it's nothing too crazy it's just that's where you're moving towards that's the goal of all of this right now ten of cups is coupled with the page of cups there it is the new emotional understanding and even for some of you taurus this has a, this is being uh, this is manifesting in your life because you've been able to get back to a sense of what your inner child feels or what your inner child really wants. Um, and your inner child is also representative of your, of your higher self, of what it is that truly fuels your soul, what it is your soul really wants, okay? The Page of Cups is representing that new sense of awareness in terms of your emotional reality that is helping you align with this Ten of Cups energy so that it can be manifested in your world. Absolutely beautiful. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Taurus, you do have justice, Libra energy, but this is beautiful, Taurus, because and, and, and unbeknownst to many of you, I kind of feel like you are not aware. Some of you are not. Others of you are kind of consciously aware of it. Whatever. It doesn't matter where you find yourself here. But there is a level of maybe not even necessarily realizing just how much justice you're bringing into your life. And I feel like this justice is directly connected to you letting go of this. Letting go of this energy, the Eight of Swords with the Three of Swords, and taking a leap of faith, moving in a new direction, all right? That is, that is so freaking excellent, Taurus. Uh, justice is coupled with, oh, the Two of Cups. Justice in a relationship, justice in your home and family life, I'm hearing. If this is resonating for you on a relationship level, um, this is justice in terms of the relationships that you are looking to move to align with moving forward, okay? There is definitely a sense of retribution or redemption that's coming towards many of you in terms of love and relationship sector of your life. Um, very seventh house, very much seventh house energy. And, you know, uh, justice represents Libra. Libra is the ruler of the seventh house, okay? Um, but this justice that could be coming forward towards you interpersonally um, has to do with your own sense of personal awareness in terms of what truly feeds your soul or what you really truly want or need in a relationship. Now, for others of you, maybe for all, or maybe this is something that is kind of having an, an effect on all of us in terms of this energy. But in other ways, this is actually being represented as the balance and the harmony and the union with yourself, the Two of Cups, that is now being reflected in your physical reality, which is creating great energetic change in your physical reality. And that also, I'm feeling, Taurus, is helping you go with the flow here. It's like you found this sense of balance within yourself, happiness and contentment, unconditional love for yourself, and unconditional love that's pouring in to, for you to, by the universe, by the divine God source creator. And that's helping you go with the flow here, go through this time of great change that is also bringing justice into your life. I love this for you, Taurus. All right, honey. Let me take a little sippy sip. All right, Taurus. 
Let's get into the second half of your reading here. So again, this is going to look at energies from the current energy from the current time frame or the current energies off into the future, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. In the second half of your reading, you have the Eight of Wands. Clear and open trajectory. I, I mean, I, I feel like, especially, you know, with the overall energy here for you, which is represented by the Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Fool, there is a level of self-respect that I just heard that's allowing you to break free from the chains, allowing you to break free from the... Uh, uh, for some of you, I'm hearing manipulation, but it's opening up the floodgates. It's opening your trajectory. It's clearing space for you to move forward, but also for you to take aim on your target. Again, so incredibly similar to Aries energy. Yeah. Eight of Wands is coupled with the moon. This is literally representing obstacles having come out of being taken out of your way, Taurus. And in the current energy and also looking forward, um, what I'm feeling from the moon and the eight of wands is a lot of what may have been blocking you, a lot of what may have been stopping you has been illusionary. And it may, to be honest, I'm going to say this, I mean no disrespect, but it, it feels like your own sense of stubbornness and lack of willing or even recognizing the need for change has been blocking you. But now at this point, Taurus, I feel like you are really starting to see past the illusion of what could have been stopping you. And that right there is strong enough to part any cloud that may stand in your way. Excellent, Taurus. Second set of surrounding energies for you in the second half of your reading, you have the Eight of Cups. Walking away from what no longer serves you. Finally done with that aspect. You have three eights here, Taurus. Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups. That is a number of abundance. And maybe even fertility, I did just here, okay? Eight of Cups is coupled with the lovers. What are you walking away from here, Taurus? That which does not serve your highest good, okay? This is absolutely a choice, and I don't feel like this choice has been very hard to make. I actually feel like it's been very easy for you to make, Taurus, but it's been easy for you to make it because of the sense of emotional stability and maturity that you have been able to ascend into or expand into. So beautiful, Taurus. Now, this does translate directly into certain relationship aspects for some of you. Um, for some of you, you are breaking a lifelong, maybe even ancestral energetic cycle that had you uh, aligning, aligning with individuals that, um, that, for the most part, weren't really for your highest good, even though they did serve a purpose because it helped you learn, it helped you recognize certain things, it helped you recognize what needs to be broken, what cycles need to be broken. But in terms of this, you are walking away from that or you have the opportunity to walk away from that moving forward in the future through your awareness of the illusions surrounding you, the illusions uh, associated with these situations, and thus you're making a decision to serve your highest good. Even if, I'm feeling this specifically for some of you, even if that means that you have to be single for a while, I do feel like for some of you, you are finally okay because of this King of Cups energy, because of this Ace of Cups energy, right? This sense of self-worth, self-love, and self-emotional uh, uh, awareness and emotional maturity. Some of you are actually very okay with being single for a while. Because at this point, maybe if you can't really put your finger on it or can't really explain it, verbalize it, you recognize that on some level that it's actually going to be better for you to be single until you find another energetic vibration or resonance that actually serves a higher purpose and is much more beneficial than all the little toxic shit that you may have been rolling around with in the past. Excellent, Taurus. This is like, talk about a glow up here. This is beautiful. Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Taurus, is the Five of Cups. Okay, now with this sense of emotional maturity and emotional awareness here, and even emotional availability, some of you, man, and I get this because earth signs can sometimes have, even though earth and water go very, very well together, um, sometimes earth energies, especially Taurus, can have trouble with their emotions. Um, and with this, with this uh, emotional maturity represented by the King of Cups here, Taurus, 
There are things that are going to be bubbling up to the surface that you're going to have to deal with. But I feel like, Taurus, you're in a much better position to deal with it now than you ever have been in the, in the past because of this sense of emotional maturity, emotional awareness, and emotional availability. And don't, and look, if you are cross-watching for a Tauren right now and you're hearing me talk about how, you know, they're much more emotionally aware and they're much more emotionally available and mature, don't get too excited because... For the most part, this is something that is self-contained. Just because somebody is self-aware, or I'm sorry, somebody is emotionally aware or emotionally available with themselves doesn't necessarily mean that they're emotionally available with you or with an external individual, okay? You have to give them time to work through this. These are the beginnings of being emotionally available, okay? So they have to, it has to start within. So don't just rush to judgment and be like, well, I heard in this reading that, you know, you are emotionally available now, so let's talk about things. It's like, um, excuse me? First of all, who, who the fuck said that? Second of all, I never told you that. Like, you're mostly, you may get a response like that, right? So take it with a grain of salt. I don't know why I felt that it was, it was necessary to say that, but on behalf some of, the, of some of the Torrens out there, some of you needed to hear that. Okay. Five of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Wands. Because Taurus, you are moving forward here. And so you have the opportunity right now to process these emotions and get on with your life and put up boundaries so that these emotions don't circle back and hurt you any longer, or you do not find yourself in a situation to have to deal with some of this emotional um, loss again. I love this. This is literally you processing your feelings and processing your emotions, Taurus, and for lack of a better term, getting over it. That happens in your own time. We are not trying to rush this process for you, but I like seeing this here for you. Yes? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading, you have, ooh, the High Priestess. Your sense of emotional awareness, Taurus, is definitely, for many of you, is definitely opening you up to a sense of higher awareness and intuitive ability. The High Priestess also rep represents secrets. The unknown, you're stepping into the unknown here. I do like feel like some of this is actually uh, a lot of what I was saying in the beginning. I feel like some of you Taurans are much more comfortable with flowing with the universe and whatever it has for you or whatever it is you that's trying to it's trying to bring forward for you. There's a sense of mystery here, but I feel Taurus that you're you are okay with that. Or at least you have a sense of emotional awareness and emotional stability that's allowing you to be more okay with that now than you have been in the past. And I definitely feel like what the High Priestess is representing in terms of a closing message for you moving forward in the future, the more that you allow yourself to align with the mysteries and the unknown of the universe, the more rewards you will get in, in, in the long run. Beautiful. The High Priestess is coupled with... Hello, Jinx. What's up? What's the matter? What? I gave you... Oh, no. I gave you food, but you don't want it. I know. I got to clean that. I'm so sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the High Priestess is coupled with... The devil. I don't think this is a bad thing, you guys. I want to take one more card for that with you, for you. Yes. Okay, beautiful. I don't think it's a bad thing. And now that's just been proven to me because the next card that has come out here is temperance. So temperance is coming back out for you here. All right. So what this is representing, Taurus, for you is a balance between seeing past because that's actually what I was what I was picking up on before when I saw the high priestess and the devil coupled together there was a there was an energy of saying to you that or representing for you that you see you're you're able to see past the illusions of the devil and you're able to much to now align yourself with the secrets of the universe a higher awareness and mystery that devilish type energies three-dimensional low vibrational energies have kept effectively kept you away from and that's happening because of this sense of balance and harmony within yourself, temperance. And even for some of you, maybe even a greater sense of patience. Although, Taurus, I feel like you are generally a, a, a fairly patient energy. Um, but yeah. Seeing past the illusions. Focusing more on what the high priestess has for you or what the universe the higher version or the higher vibrations of the universe has for you instead of getting wrapped up or caught in the three-dimensional, low-vibrational, toxic bullshit. Excellent, Taurus. 
Let's go ahead and close out this reading here for you. I'm going to get that from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right, closing oracle guidance for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What closing oracle messages do you have for Taurus for the month of July? There we go. There we have it right there. You have card number 42, Goddess Hecate, Hecate, excuse me, Goddess Hecate and Mika, Crossroad of Destiny. Crossroad of Destiny. We bring you the empowerment of the Crossroad of Destiny. You are at a pivotal point on your life journey. This may be obvious to you with a potentially life-changing decision before you, or you may not realize the impact that an apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can take best advantage of by listening to your heart. And that's exactly what was coming through for you in the beginning of the reading in your pre-shuffle in terms of the Knight of Cups. Moving forward with an open heart. So beautiful. So there you have it, Taurus. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're new here. Let, leave your comments down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available that, for that, Only although I am taking a limited number of readings. But check the description box down below for all the information in terms of that. Also, I recommend that you check, out, uh, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divineconversations. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>